Strategy and money management are critical aspects of trade. Even more important is timing. The best traders know when to trade. Do you? By the end of this video, you will. Today's markets offer 24 hour action, but not all hours of the day are equal. Give us a few minutes and we'll tell you exactly when to trade. Every day, global trade is divided into four distinct periods, the Sydney, Tokyo, London, and New York sessions. These four sessions span the 24 hour day. Now in order for us to pinpoint the times we need to trade, we must first know the key periods as they relate to our specific time zone. I recommend visiting a conversion website or using a service such as How to Trade's Economic Calendar. You'll notice that our calendar automatically syncs times to your computer's GMT settings. Now for the purposes of this video, we'll list the key events and key times in US Eastern Time. To convert them to your own time zone, you may need to go to a third party time zone converter. Like the ancient Roman Empire, the sun never sets on the markets. From London to New York to Sydney, traders are buying and selling from Monday's weekly open until Friday's close. To observe the action in your neck of the woods, check out a free trading demo at switchmarkets.com. Okay, now you know the four sessions, but there's much more to it than that. The best time of day to trade has a collection of distinct attributes. The premium trading times offer us robust participation, which creates deep markets and volatility. Remember this, we want optimal liquidity and volatility. Without those two things, it's tough for us to make any money at all. Now, no matter which session you're trading, there are three periods to be aware of. The open, the close, and the overlap. All right, let's begin with the open and close. The market's opening and closing bells are exceptional times to trade. During these periods, the markets are deep and full of participants. The open and close is when traders trade. Now, here are the important open and closing times to remember. Now, all these are listed in U.S. Eastern Standard Time. These times are the key times in these stock markets. They're the opening and the closing bells. Now be aware that in the hour before the open and ahead of the close, volatility is frequently present in the Forex and futures markets. So if you're trading any of these opens or closes, it pays to be ready to go 60 minutes ahead of the bell. Now you'll notice that I left out the Sydney open and the London close. Why? Participation. For the daily Sydney open, participation is typically sparse. It's best to wait a few hours until Tokyo comes online. Now in the case of the London close, the market settles during the US trading hours. Sometimes we see a rush of Forex futures and equities action on the London close, sometimes we don't. If you're looking for consistent volatility and liquidity, then it's best to wait a few hours for the New York close. All right, let's take a look at the volatility of the US open. Okay, this is a five second chart for the US 30. And as you can see, we are just a few seconds away from the US open. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this market volatility and whether we want a, a buy or sell uh, during that US opening bell, you'll see the volatility in the market depth right away. Here we go, this is played back at real time and you can see, boom, right there, there's a rush of participation, a rush of liquidity, and you'll notice whether you buy or sell, let's say we wanna sell, Right here, you can see just how fast fortunes are changing hands on the open. So remember, an opening bell in New York is an incredibly volatile period. The entire world is rushing in to make their day's trade. The result is volatility and price action. That can be a good thing for us, or as in the case of our poor sell, that can be a bad thing. So beware of that open, but that's a pretty darn good time to scalp and trade if in fact you're interested in a deep market, volatility, and liquidity. Here's this week's quiz. Of these four measurements of time, which is the shortest? Is it A, millisecond, B, nanosecond, C, picosecond, or D, microsecond? Leave your answers below. If you're right, you'll be eligible to win free access to our How to Trade trading room. Good luck. Another key time of day to trade is the overlap period. An overlap occurs when multiple international markets are open simultaneously. During this time, some global assets experience heightened liquidity. Overlaps are ideal for trading Forex pairs. Now, there are two key overlaps you should be aware of, the Sydney-Tokyo overlap and the London-New York overlap. The Sydney-Tokyo overlap occurs from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern. The London-New York overlap occurs from 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern. Many extend this overlap to the pre-Wall Street Open from 8 a.m. Eastern to 12 p.m. Eastern. Both are typically extremely liquid periods. The Sydney-Tokyo overlap has a reputation as being a great time to trade the Asia-Pacific Forex pairs. 
Let's execute one such trade using our TST framework on MetaTrader 4. Here's a look at our triple screen trader powered by SwitchMarkets.com. We have our three EAs, we have our support and resistance EA, we have our pattern finder EA, and we have our risk manager EA. Now going into that Sydney Tokyo overlap, we're looking to position trade some of those Asia Pacific pairs. So in front of me, I have the dollar yen on a four hour time frame. Now the reason why I would be choosing a four hour time frame because we're looking for those accumulation trades either to to the long or to the short going into that uh, Sydney Tokyo overlap. That increase in participation typically could take us right to our profit target. So the first thing we would wanna do is take a good look at our support and resistance EA. What we're gonna wanna do there is put on our four hour daily and weekly support and resistance lines. And we're looking for a pattern, either an engulfing pattern or a pin bar to set up in this dollar yen or in an Asia Pacific pair. And we wanna sell pattern from top side resistance and we wanna buy pattern from downside support. And then once we get our pattern that aligns with our support and resistance, we go over to our risk manager, we turn it on and we look to risk a portion of our account balance that we're comfortable with. I highly recommend one to 3%. Uh, remember, these could potentially be long duration trades in the trade for eight hours, 12 hours. You're really trying to capitalize on that Sydney Tokyo overlap ahead of the London Open. So these are pretty good to play off a swing low or a swing high potentially in that four hour time frame on a Forex pair that's locally Asia Pacific region. So there's a good look at how I would do it. I would make sure that we get a uh, pattern that sets up for one of our Asia Pacific pairs. We would look to be buying from support and selling from resistance, and then we dial in our risk accordingly. And that's how we would make a position trade using the TST framework going in uh, to that uh, Tokyo Sydney overlap. In the markets, timing is everything. If you're too early or late to the party, it's tough to be successful. But if you're just right, making money is easy. Now, you don't have to sit in front of your computer 24 hours a day looking for opportunities to win. That's a rookie mistake. Focus on the times we outlined in this video. If you do, you'll have a big leg up on the competition. Now, I wanna thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. All right, that's all for now. Trade well and we'll catch you on the next one.